Hi, I'm Rohan from Mimosa. I'm Shehani from Mimosa. And I'm Shavina from Mimosa. So, <laughs> we talk about how it's like working together as a couple, partners. Mm. Yeah. So how is that going for you at the moment? Uh, it's going. It's going good. It's going good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it gets tough, and it's like um, I guess sometimes we're always. It's challenging. It's challenging. So, in your different roles at Mimosa, how do you all communicate and make decisions together, or do you all mm. make decisions together, or is it one no, side? No, we don't. Okay. Mm. It's very rare. It'll be like. Okay, so I think I, we. Okay, so I guess. Sometimes we take work back home and okay. then we're talking about like, let's say we're talking about a load of ideas and then we have a general direction where we think we should go and then I guess Shehani has put trust in me in certain things and then I put trust in Shehani in certain things and we don't get too involved in the micros of those separate yeah, areas. So like Rohan Asa handles more of the management side okay. so obviously when it comes to that I don't interfere and tell him how he should I would probably put my two cents when it's not even needed. But you're more creative side. Yeah, yeah. and so then obviously he'll be like, he's got it, mm -hmm. and he's handling that side. And when it comes to creative, obviously you do give your two cents all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then obviously it'll, I wouldn't agree very easily. So mm. I think we have a little argument yeah. then and there. Yeah. And then obviously take some time out and then we come back and then I think we find a middle ground. So that has taken now how many years? Five years? Five years, yeah, four years. So plus. when it comes yeah, to the five years since Mimosa started? Yeah. Yeah. So years. that's a long time. Yeah. Yep. So it's a long time. When it comes to the creative side of the decisions, do you think that Rohan makes most of it or you do? <laughs> I don't think I mean look, I think um, we always like have a discussion, we're always debating, we're always like I, I, I arguing, debating. Well, I, I think it's it's like a borderline, right? Yeah, we keep reminding ourselves we're not arguing. Here yes. Our conversation. Yeah, we we usually start by saying this is not an argument, yeah. and then we go on to argue. Yeah, just to make sure. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. 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 Okay. But I think after that, after the general kind of discussions had, like we <coughs> just we kind of run with it, right? And mm -hmm. I think it's kind of like interesting because so many like partners and couples and people are like working together now with like it being so easy to start something um, like that after the pandemic a lot of people have started working yeah as yeah like husband and wife husband and wife like girlfriend boyfriend like you know partners and um, yeah it's, it's challenging right there's like a ton of like you know there's two different personalities everyone's trying to like you know um, you do also don't want to uh, just step back because you have some ideas and you have value that you want to add as well and it you know and, and it's just it's it's a balancing act that everyone's got to be aware of mm -hmm. and yeah well, that's interesting so how often do you talk about work at home and is that ideal or not we talk a lot yeah I but, uh, a lot, but then now it's come to a point that sometimes you're like okay no enough Mm -hmm. I think I have the habit that I just go on and on and on. Mm -hmm. Since because during work I can't talk to him. Oh, super, why is that? He's super <laughs> stressed. And oh. I think uh, so I come up with like idiotic ideas then and there and I want to like say to someone and mm -hmm. then I go and then he's super stressed out. So, so then he just feels he's like, no. Yeah, so, then, so it's like mm -hmm. not the right time to talk about mm -hmm. it. So then obviously I have that idea and I'm waiting to talk about it while going home. And yeah. then depending on the time, like I think we agree. Then we'll talk about it later. later yeah. you know, so is that, that tough for you or do, would you rather I want to? I think before it was really difficult mm -hmm. because I'm like, how can you not listen? Like, you know, but then now I think, now it's like, obviously I would prefer him being in a better mood to talk about something and convince him to do it. Yeah. As opposed to having him annoyed mm -hmm. and then I'm trying to shove the idea down his Yeah, so I think, yeah, yeah it's interesting because <laughs> it's... Yeah, I mean, see, that, that's interesting because I guess in a relationship as well, mm. if you want to talk about something, you have to be careful about the timing, right? Oh, like, definitely. So it's, it's interesting how, like, when, if it's a topic about work or even if it's a topic about, like, just the personal life, family, whatever, that's super important. And, and I think if, you didn't work to, if we didn't work together, we wouldn't understand that that is an important part of communication, right? Yeah, but that's also happened very recently. It, it's hard. It takes time, right? Like it takes time. 
So do you all find that talking about work all the time leads to less talking about your relationship in general? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Mm, they all like forget yeah, that. Shai Shai is like a <laughs> certified shrink here. <laughs> but I mean, okay, so I, I feel that, I don't know what, how you feel exactly about it, but it's like, it's never a perfect 50-50 split. Sometimes it's like insanely work. And then when I say work, like it's not like, like obviously we enjoy it. That's why we talk about it all the time, right? And then at some, maybe over the weekends or, you know, certain days, it's like more like, a lot more family and like personal stuff. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's like never a 50 50 split all the time. Now that Kai has also like more that she understands what's happening and she. You're all your three year old, right? Yeah. 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 Cute. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so with her, so like obviously now it's like come to a point that we have like, we like Saturday is family time. So then mm-hmm. we like do something, we take her out. So at, during that time, we like obviously like Focus on focused family. on her mm-hmm. and the whole family but then also like while we're going say if we go somewhere we see something we're like oh my god this this and then work comes in so it's like in and out because i feel like for us work obviously because it's our thing work is a huge part yeah us, and it doesn't look it's not it's always interesting that like, we always talk about ideas and we always like but we should do this we should do that so it doesn't seem like boring and like how do you say it? I guess it's, like it doesn't normal. seem like it's like a ton of effort, although yeah. you get... It just comes naturally. It, yeah, but it, also, it is also tiring, right? Sometimes you can't oh, keep definitely. talking about it all the time, but mm-hmm. at the same time, we enjoy it. So I guess it's easier yeah. than if you were working, you know, somewhere else where... Um, I guess that has a different set of challenges. If you work for, you know, you, the, 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 each of us works yeah. at different places and we come back home, that's a different dynamic altogether. And I don't, I'm not saying that that's, that's easier or that's worse or this is better, nothing. It's all very unique, right? But um, this has its challenges, but since I feel that it's something that we enjoy, it's, mm. it's enjoyable, it's pleasurable, right? I so. think the work topic stops, I think the moment we realize it's getting a little too intense much. and it's getting yeah. like into almost mm-hmm. argument mode, they were like, okay, now enough. Enough. Yeah. Stop. Okay. In regards to what you were saying before, <coughs> after working five years together, right, side to side, yeah. ish, um, do you all ever see yourselves not working with each other in the future? Like things changing? We <laughs> talk about it sometimes. Mm. In what there way? Was, like, there were times that I would say I'll stay at home and I'd be like, Full time, like staying at home, mom with Kaya. Mm-hmm. Then there are times that I was like, and how does sure. that conversation go? But then mm-hmm. we also understand that I think we work well together. Yeah. So like I think we have our strengths and weaknesses, and I think we kind of cancel the weaknesses. I don't know how you say. No man. But I feel like we work together. Yeah, so we complement. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. We complement yeah. each other. Mm-hmm. And also, like I think because my parents also kind of have worked mm-hmm. together. Um, I guess I've learned a little bit about how to do that also from them. Mm. So um, I think maybe if we stuck and we feel like it's difficult, we obviously like speak to them and speak to my dad and then mm. we like see where we can like obviously balance it out because it's not easy. Yeah. And mm. I think it's good that we have people who've gone through the same thing. Yeah, so, so you'll see from them basically. Yeah. yeah. So is it or is it not a possibility that you all stop working? I mean, I really, it's, yeah, I think can't say. it's difficult to say, right? Like, you know, but sometimes we're we... Open. Like, we're so it's a possibility, right? I mean, I'm all, we're always open to everything, right? Yeah. yeah I don't like, it doesn't yeah. have we to keep be that thing. Uh, we do have the conversation like, about how, like, detaching ourselves from whatever situation, like, yeah. whatever happens to be more so, like, we should be also okay, like, be able to, like, bounce back. And also, I think, we're okay. Like, I yeah. know, we've not really had that conversation. Yeah, but I mean... Mm, it's, in fact, that we won't be going to Yeah, because it's... <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um, I think everyone just gets so sucked into their little, you know, their worlds. I mean, even if you're working on your own thing or somewhere else. Or, and I think it's like in, important to kind of be, uh, I guess, easier said than done. But okay to kind of reinvent yourself and detach and like, you know, start a new dream yeah, or like whatever it is, right? Like it's, that should yeah. be. And if you're doing something now, you should give it your 100%. And then if it doesn't work out or something else changes or so, you never know what's going to happen you need to be comfortable in reinventing yourself and and actually authentically like enjoying life right like because mm. it's 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 easy to be bitter and resentful and like those things kind of eat you up right happen. oh for sure yeah 100% so 
So a little interesting question I feel like people would want to know. What is the main thing that annoys each of you? Like mm. what does Rohan annoy you the most about? There's too many things uh, for Shehani. Shehani's so got so many things about me that are annoying. Oh, and you do it? Do yes, oh my no, god. Not at all. No. 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 <laughs> we'll find out today. So. Mm. Uh, okay, Shehani go first. Is that annoying? But no, think, not that he's annoying, but the one thing that yeah. annoys like you most peeve, about kind of. him. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I feel like... Ew. That's quite a few. I'm sure she's got yeah. a long yeah. list. I think like for me, Anything. the most difficult thing is like obviously Rohan and I like are really close. Like I feel like we do like issues yeah. and all. Like we consult each other as opposed to like opening up to other people, right? Okay. So then, uh, also like in an argument or whatever situation, he likes to be alone and detached at that moment and like collect his thoughts. He needs his space. He needs his space. You yeah, don't I, like that. I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So I think a lot of couples do have that. So is this a, is this a gender specific thing? I don't think so. Not at all. I think one person always needs their space, right. and the other person has to constantly like, I need this to be okay, like yeah. right, right now. Right. Yeah, right? Right. right. So you're that person. I'm that person. So and you don't like the fact that he needs his space when no. something happens. But now it's like obviously now we've been space. married for five years and having a kid. I'm like. <laughs> Like, you know, whatever. I'll do whatever you want. Yeah. And Come back I'll, later. <laughs> yeah, but also I feel like the more you push and you want to find out what's wrong, what's wrong, and like dig in, then they like go away, like they push away even mm. more. Oh, I'm right? glad she's learned this. <laughs> I'm learned it. <laughs> you straight up she's learned it. Although I've learned it, I still don't want to do it though. <laughs> I still want to go in it. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong? Wrong? It's a compromise, right? Yeah. Like, so I think that's what okay. I guess it is, right? Is that wrong for me? Because, like, She's going to number two now. <laughs> She's <laughs> moving on to two and three. Go ahead. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Uh, okay, so mine would be. Um, Might get scolded there. Ah, you're going to get scolded afterwards. <laughs> uh, I think um, Shehani is um, probably. A very anti-confrontational, right? So not with me, definitely not oh, with I me. I definitely see that. Yeah, but like really? it's my favorite mimosa employer. It's not it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like I guess if you have an uncomfortable conversation that she has to you know have with someone or um, or communicate something, she wouldn't do it, and she would just push it back. Avoid it. Avoid it, and Completely. then it would just become like that's short term you know, relief for, and it's going to be a long-term pain. No, but that's what, that's annoying. No, she doesn't do that to me. That's but what's, that's, that's what's annoying. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then, then he jumps in and he does it. Okay. He goes and has the confrontation with oh, them. And I'm, I don't like confrontation like either. For you, basically. Yeah. So I didn't ask him to do that, but he's just yeah. like, obviously that's where like, I feel like when we talk about it, then he feels like I need to save her from this situation. So I'm going to jump in. Yeah. And oh, yeah. So it's I like mean, the it's male patriarchy. So whoa, whoa. Yeah. Don't, you don't, don't just throw that word in there, okay? Just for like, kick me. That's ridiculous. You can't do that. Mm. And then, uh, so that, how is that annoying? That's my battle. Exactly. And he feels like he has to do it. But like... It should be annoying for her. Actually, as a girl, I would probably understand that. But why is that? Oh, why is that? Because why? I would want someone... Because girls speak. are not confrontational. No, not at all. They? It depends on the person. But yeah. I would want someone else speaking for oh, me. Oh, right. I can, oh, so that's more uh, annoying for you than someone... Uh, yeah. I just won't... I just don't need that. Okay. Yeah. If I don't want to speak about something, you don't have to do it for me. Sure. Yeah, but I sure. Like, when sure. you talk about it to your the spouse, other person, they right. feel like I think that's how like that book okay. where they say like Ma- men are from Mars, we- women are from Venus. Venus. Where they say like you know how when women talk about their problems, men feel like they need to go and help, help them solve it. Yeah. Out. So it's always easier to speak in stereotypes, right? Because like the majority of things fall into certain stereotypes, right? Mm. So I guess men are like trying to be or see themselves as fixers exactly. and women kind of want to express Wait, and yeah. talk. Okay. So look, so, uh, once again, <laughs> don't cancel me, right? I'm just saying talking in stereotypes, like just, it, it's easier, but it's not always true, right? It's just easy to bundle people in Obviously certain groups. Obviously depends on the person. 100%. But also you didn't kind of answer my question because how is that something that annoys you? If because you feel, uh, do you feel like you have no, to no, go fix I, it? No, no. Okay, so I'll, I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, because by not addressing that uncomfortable situation now, it's the business or the process or the outcome of Mimosa that suffers in the long run, right? Mm. So I'm doing it, I'm not in her personal life, like I okay. don't very rarely, I very rarely, yeah, 
I don't do that too much in her. I don't jump in because like okay, yeah, so this work. is work related. Okay. So so like I guess work life like more on the work side I would do that because that affects all of us, not just you and me, but the employees, the mm. you know everything, right? And on the personal side, I guess I don't do that too much. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I think we don't have a personal life. We just have work life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, this should just That's be called it. work. <laughs> So, in conclusion, is working together a blessing or no? I think I it think is. It I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> no, I think it is because I feel like I, I don't think I've ever seen it work any other way. Mm -hmm. And I think it's like. So okay. do you think from the start it was? Oh no, it was even, so hard. Uh, it was so hard. I, yeah, I guess because I think we. There were the times that I was like in and out. Yeah. So like, yeah. I'd like come like. A few days, and even at one time, Rohan's office was upstairs. Remember? Yeah. So it's better like this. Now it is because I feel like now we understand like boundaries. Yeah, right? yeah, and it, just because it's, it's better like this doesn't mean it's always good. Mm. It's like got tons of tough times. It's like arguments. Sometimes you come home and like it's you know. So it's not talk to each other. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I guess you know, cliche as it sounds, it. I don't think we'd do it any other way, right? Oh, <laughs> cute. Okay, we're done. Okay, we're done. <laughs>